Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A very quiet end to what was a very busy weekend. Fortunately, it was not as busy as it could have been. Fortunately, again, we did not see the full potential of the severe weather from yesterday really live up to that potential, so we did not have too much of anything to worry about. We did have some tornadic weather out there, some damage back over into northeastern areas of Mississippi, but it was much more limited than what it could have been out there. But thanks to everybody for, again, paying attention to the weather and keeping track of everything that was going on out there. A couple of tornado warnings yesterday, but that was about it. Back to sunshine today. Finally starting to dry out by just a little bit and looking much nicer as we head into the next several days. We'll talk about that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, this is our online video weather blog called Weather Over Time. It's your opportunity to ask questions about the forecast. I'll get to as many of them as I can. Uh, make certain, again, that you drop your city and state location into the comments section so we can see where you're checking in from. And if you've got some weather information to pass along, uh, rainfall amounts, current temperature, wind speed direction, anything like that. We'll read off some of those weather reports as we get to them coming up here in just a little bit. Speaking of which, in just a little while, we'll be looking again at more chances of rain later on this week, but not looking at huge amounts of it. That's good news. And then also the possibility of some thunderstorms. And if everything holds what looks to be a pretty big downturn in the temperatures coming up right as we go into March, possibly capped off with a few thunderstorms by the end of the week. So March definitely coming in like a lion at this time. Make certain you check out the forecast and stay up to date with everything again at wreg.com slash weather. If you can't stick around for the whole netcast, that's great. Blue bar at the bottom of your screen. That's the forecast information scrolling by right there. Or you can get the 7 to 10 day forecast here at wreg.com slash weather. Taking a look into very early tomorrow morning, numbers will be brisk. And if the kids are heading out for the school bus stop, that's what it's going to be looking like into tomorrow. Dry, yes, but once again, pretty much on the chilly side out there. So please keep that in mind as you get up and get going in the morning. Uh, if you got the car parked outside, very good possibility you're going to be seeing some frost on the windshields. Hopefully the drier weather will do a good job of keeping things very quiet across the area, so hopefully not too much frost, but again, that's going to be a possibility out there for right now. Welcome to everybody who's checking in from across the Mid-South and points beyond out there, uh, including our own Eddie Goss. Welcome to the show, one of our uh, best production people ever. Thanks for stopping by, Mr. Eddie. Good to see you again. Light snow in lower Michigan, 19 degrees, 40 mile per hour winds. Okay, well, it's uh, some pretty breezy winds up that direction. William Skage from Oakland County, Michigan. Appreciate that. Thanks everybody else for dropping on through for tonight. High temperatures today, uh, about as typical as you could possibly get for this time of the year. It really was just that straight down the line. Now, yesterday we were up in the upper 70s. Today, very close to normal, also within two degrees of the normal for a low temperature. So again, not bad out there. No rainfall for today, and all the rainfall left the area yesterday, but we still have a surplus of nearly six inches, so we're doing very good on the rainfall for right now. Things are much more quiet in downtown Memphis. Good visibility out there, very dry conditions. Hopefully you had a chance to see the planet, Vena, uh, planet Mercury dropping down toward the horizon tonight. Uh, beautiful view if it stays clear tomorrow night. Should be uh, viewable in the west right after sunset, so looking good there. Mighty Lights and Big River Crossing lit up nicely, and again, good visibility for tonight as we look out across a very much drier Mid-South area across much of the area looking pretty dry there. Unfortunately, the Mississippi River is still on the rise. All that water from the last few days is draining into the Mississippi Channel, so the water levels are still heading upwards. Now, Wednesday into Thursday, we're already at, again, minor flood stage. We're going to be heading toward what's called moderate flood stage around Wednesday into Thursday. That's 40 feet and higher. If we go through that area, we're going to be looking at a top 10 flood event for the Mississippi River in modern times. So right now, again, that's mainly taking a toll on the bottom lands near the river, the farming areas. Some roadways and dock areas could be affected by this and could be seeing again some problems with, again, backed up creeks away from the river. So 
that could be a bit of a concern. But the river should be cresting as we go toward next week, so we'll be monitoring this. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again for the latest on that. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing to show you. Humidity levels today were down to about the 25% range. That is bone dry air and that's much more comfortable than anything we've seen across the Mid-South in the last few days. So looking very nice across much of the area. And again, looking pretty dry into the Mid-South as we go into later on tonight. Cold, yes, but again, also dry into the area for right now. Again, temperatures for tonight pretty much on the chilly side. We'll talk about that in the forecast in just a little bit. Uh, thanks, everybody, for checking in for this evening. Again, if you got the weather reports from out there, give us your temperature, wind speed, rainfall amounts, current sky conditions from wherever you happen to be. Across the area on WeatherNet 3, live real-time weather showing the coldest temperatures in the Mid-South just past 8 o'clock tonight in the mid to upper 30s to the lower 40s. Winds very breezy overnight, 40 miles per hour or so. And again, we're looking at winds nearly calm across the Mid-South, so not much of a wind chill to talk about right now, which is definitely good news on that. Now, going into the next couple of days, decently dry. We're not seeing much of any problems out there with anything really immediate at this point in time. Now, usually I have like the maps behind me to give you an idea as to what's going on. Uh, the computer models that run those, sometimes they get some wobbles in them so that the uh, graphics that we have, the temperatures, we try to give you an idea as to time things out. Well, we're not gonna feature that map tonight because some of the computer models that we've been using some of the data might have been corrupted because the numbers were just all over the place and it would take too long to correct all of that information by hand. So we're just going to skip ahead to the seven day forecast and give you a general idea as to what's going on throughout the rest of the next several days. So again, we'll have updates on the forecast tonight at 10 and of course coming up on News Channel 3 on Daybreak with Todd Demers. So stay tuned for that forecast update coming up tomorrow morning. So for tomorrow, after lows tonight in the lower 30s, we should be just above normal tomorrow in the mid to upper 50s. Very comfortable, very dry, little on the cool side, but not bad. And again, a few clouds out there by the time the kids head home from school, but otherwise not too bad for right now. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy, mild on Tuesday, above normal in the lower 60s. Very nice there. Now by Wednesday, most of the day should be dry. If everything holds, the best chance of showers will be coming up as we get into the evening hours of Wednesday. And we're not looking at all that much, about a 20% coverage chance there at best. By the end of the week, that's where things really start to change. We see that potential of maybe some stronger storms coming on through. But right now, just putting in a chance of thunderstorms. Now, through about Friday into Saturday from the earlier computer models last week, we did put in a possibility of some rain mixed with snow into the weekend, the very early weekend. But right now, it doesn't look like it's going to be cold enough for that as that front's going to be coming through right about Saturday morning. It will be colder by next weekend. Looking at numbers right now back in the lower 40s by Saturday, maybe a few lingering thunderstorms by early Saturday morning, and then drying out and getting very chilly. Temperatures by Sunday morning next week in the mid-20s. High temperatures by next Sunday back in the mid to upper 30s. Now, how much rain are we talking about here? Technically not much, but any amount of rainfall falling on that saturated soil is just going to run its way back down through the creeks and streams toward the Mississippi River, which means we could see some changes in that forecast level that I just showed you into the next couple of days. If you'd like to keep up to date on that, we have websites available for river level information. All you have to do is stick around for more on that on our website. Again, it's a WREG Dot com slash weather. Going out a little farther into the forecast, again, we've got a little bit of a recoup in temperatures for the first weekend of March cooling off, the first full week of March dry and a little chilly at first, but looks like we'll be back to temperatures back into and around the mid to upper 40s or so across portions of the area. So we've bounced downwards into the 30s. Pretty quick rebound and turnaround. Keep in mind, we are still in winter time, so this type of drop is nothing out of the ordinary uh, for us for right now. It's nothing really a major problem for us. No Arctic blasts, no polar vortex, anything like that. But we are going to see some chilly numbers by this next weekend. So we're not quite done with winter just yet, but it will be again uh, coming on through the area. 
And if we start to see any signs of any snow mixed in with that, if that happens, which right now it looks like the moisture will head out as the cold air is moving in, right now we just don't see any signs of any winter weather occurring. So it's just really not there for the time being. But we'll keep our eyes on that. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3. and We'll let you know more about that coming up. Thanks to everybody for some great weather pictures over the last few days. And if you've got weather pictures, we'd like to see them and show them if we could do so. John Nelson around Chickasaw State Park. Strong winds, heavy rainfall, and some pretty thick cloud cover out around the Toon area. Thank you very much for that one. From a couple of weeks ago. Facebook doing a good job of sending out these pictures, very strange time frames out there. So apologies to Michelle Jackson for not getting this picture out. A beautiful sunrise at Canada Road and 64. Peggy Harrison, Mosquito Bend Farms from Michigan City, Mississippi, right back up close to the Tennessee state line. Half a foot of rainfall in the last few days and that was shot just a couple of days ago, so some pretty soggy conditions there. Nancy Alice Powell from Lenore City, Tennessee. Some of the flooding making its way over the culverts and the ditches in those areas. From Twitter, James R. Gulledge. Thank you very much for a downpour from around the area of Humboldt on Saturday night. One of the last downpours to move on through. Looking for some brighter colors out there. Tamara Theobald. Nice view of a little bit of some flowers out there. A nice dandelion in the gray of some very uh, stormy conditions on Saturday. B. Nossel. Hope I'm saying that relatively correctly. Uh, again, the cloud cover on around the area of sunset yesterday. Thank you very much for that one. And last but not least, our own Alex Coleman. News anchor here at News Channel 3. Nice view of blue skies and sunshine in what I believe is Greenbelt Park along the Mississippi River area. So a very nice view from downtown and Mud Island today. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Coleman, for that one. Again, if you've got weather pictures, please send them along to me. You can tweet them to me at aonic underscore wreg3. And, of course, I'll be on Instagram and a whole bunch of other places out there as well. So thanks to everybody for sending those along. Really do appreciate the efforts on that. And, again, welcome to everybody who's just tuning in. A little colder on Mars. Uh, if you'd like to keep up to date with the Curiosity rover, plus the new InSight lander that dropped down there just a couple of weeks ago has another weather station. And while it monitors for Mars quakes, it actually is taking a look at weather on Mars on a different side of the planet. So we're starting to get more weather information coming in from the fourth rock from the sun. Uh, Exometeorology is what that is called, weather on other planets. And if you'd like to access this information, great place to go to, mars.nasa.gov for more information about weather from Gale Crater on Mars. And again, from the Curiosity rover, we'll bring you more from InSight coming up a little bit later on. New episode of Your Environment will be dropping later on this evening. If you'd like to see more about what you can do to help out the world's oceans from here in the Mid-South area or wherever you happen to be, there's a lot you and I can do as citizens to let our governments know what needs to be done to protect this water out there that helps to stabilize our temperatures and that is unfortunately getting more and more polluted by the day and with less fish in it we could be messing around with the possibility of problems with the food chain so something to think about here drop by our website wreg.com slash weather slash environment that'll be posting later on into the next couple of days new meetings coming up in the near future starting again over the next couple of days including in Pontotoc, Mississippi tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. New Albany, Mississippi on Thursday the 28th. This coming Saturday in Jonesboro, Arkansas at 9 o'clock in the morning and Tiptonville, Tennessee next Monday, March 4th. That'll be held again at various locations out there. If you'd like to see where to go to, who to contact, phone numbers, emails, directions, all kinds of things like that, weather.gov slash MEG or just go to weather.gov, click on the Mid-South area on the big United States map and that'll take you directly to the area uh, for the National Weather Service and then click on become a Skywarn spotter volunteer and your opportunity to learn more about how you can stay safe and keep everybody else safe when it comes to severe weather. All right, one more check in the forecast before we wrap things up tonight for the school kids tomorrow. Again, temperatures very chilly to start off with, but biking or riding home from school looks like it's going to be pretty good out there with temperatures going back into the mid to upper 50s, so quite comfortable. More importantly, dry. No need for the umbrella tomorrow, but 
Going to need to bundle up out there as we see some very chilly conditions out there. My forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, I'll be on with Bob and Josh on AM 730 and 1600 on Talkback Live, sports chat extraordinaire from portions of the Mid-South area. Looking again, the possibility of, again, some chances of rainfall. We'll update you on the radio coming up in the next several days. Jay Orman, wake up, go outside, figure the day's weather out yourself. Well, where would the fun be in that for me? So thank you very much uh, for that particular unique idea. Judy Ray, 10 and a half inches of rain in Cortland, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Alonzo McClinton, thank you very much for the uh, very kind words. Do appreciate that. Likewise, Rosalind Williams as well. And again, we're looking at the possibility of some more rain later on, but stay tuned to News Channel 3. I'm not seeing much for right now. Lachey Walker. Rochester, New York, 70 mile per hour windstorm. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty storm rolling through that particular area. So definitely want to stay tuned for uh, more information from local media there. More details on weather where the troops are coming up in a little bit less than a half an hour on my Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope pages. Again, that'll be coming up here at about 845. So stay tuned for more on that. Questions, concerns, anything on here you would like to see more of? Again, drop by, again, send me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com and send, again, information about what you like on here or if you're like some people out here who are just uh, want to complain about stuff, that's fine too. But, again, we can forward those to the proper authorities. And, again, if you'd like to see more satellite details, more climate information, whatever you got to request, let's see what you want to see on here. If it keeps you coming back, we'd love to be able to bring it to you if at all possible on here for right now we'll have more coming up on news channel 3 at 10 we'll also again have more information with todd demers that'll be bright and early tomorrow morning on news channel 3 daybreak that starts at 4 30 cory ventura will have more details with traffic and of course all the details of the forecast with tim and jim coming up tomorrow afternoon and evening so stay tuned for more on that live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin onick Lots more to come with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend and all the way through next week.